everyone. Meet our friend here. Today, we have specially got him to our studio so that we can shoot a video where we will show you all the bones that it has in its body. Well, you must have been curious about how many bones we have. We are born with 270 bones after which they start fusing with each other and finally in an adult stage like this we are left with 206 bones. So let's jump into the video and let's see what are these bones, where are they present and how do they help us. The first part of this skeleton that we will see is its cranium. As you all know, our brain lies inside a bony case which is called the cranium or the skull and this is the skull. If you come a little close, you'll see that there are these lines that we can see in the skull. Well, this is because the skull bones are joined together and they form immovable joints to form this entire structure. The next bones that we see, next group of bones are these facial bones. The facial bones from, form the eye socket and the front of our face. Along with that it forms the upper jaw and the movable lower jaw. As we know in our case, in case of human beings, the lower jaw is movable but the upper jaw is not. Now I have turned him around so that you can see the backbone. As you can see just where the cranium ends, the vertebrae starts. And these are the vertebrae that forms the entire backbone inside which the spinal cord is safely lodged. Now if you look at a mammalian vertebral column, you will see that the neck region, which is our neck region, it is formed of seven vertebrae. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are known as seven cervical vertebrae. Please remember that if it is a mammal, it has to have seven cervical vertebrae, doesn't matter if it's a giraffe or a human being or a rat. The next set of vertebrae, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 are known as the thoracic vertebrae. As you can see, they are present in the upper back region and they are attached to the ribs. After that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lumbar vertebrae which forms the lower back region. The curve that you see is the lumbar curve at the back. Finally, we have the sacral vertebrae. Now, usually we have 5 sacral vertebrae when, we are, when the vertebral column is being formed. But before birth or after birth, these 5 sacral vertebrae, they start becoming joined and finally they form this triangular structure made up of five uh, vertebrae joined together. So one, two, three, four and five vertebrae joined together. We call this the sin sacrum. The word sin meaning joint and sacrum. And last but not the least we have the tailbone or the coccyx which is present here at the tip. Coccyx usually there are four coccygeal vertebrae but when they join together they form a single coccyx. So when the vertebral column is being formed there are 7 plus 12 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 vertebrae that is 31 vertebrae. However after all the fusion we have 7 plus 12 that is 19 plus 5 that is 24 plus 1 that is 25 plus 1 that is the coccygeal or the tailbone that is 26 vertebrae. This is how it looks like from behind and as you can see all the thoracic vertebrae they are attached to one pair of ribs. Where does this rib attach in the front? For that I'll just turn him around again and we can have a look. Now let us have a look at the rib cage. The rib cage as you know is the structure that houses the heart, the lungs and provides a lot of protection to these very delicate but extremely important organs in our body. So this is the rib cage and this rib cage is also essential for you to be able to breathe. So how many bones are there or how many ribs are there in the rib cage? If you start counting, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 2 here, that is 12 pairs of ribs. In the front, they are attached to this flat bone called the, called the breastbone and behind they are attached as you can see to the vertebral column. All the ribs are not attached to both the breastbone and the vertebral column. 
If you look closely, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ribs are attached both to the sternum and the vertebrae. They are known as true ribs. The next three, eight, nine, and ten, they are attached to the vertebrae at the back, but in the front, they are not directly attached to the sternum. They are attached to the seventh rib and then they are attached to the sternum. So they are known as false ribs. And last but not the least, the last two here, these two are attached to your vertebrae, but they do not come a full circle to try and attach to the sternum or to the other ribs. They end here and these are therefore known as floating ribs. The floating ribs are where our kidneys are present. So these floating ribs are actually protecting our kidneys from the two sides. Now let us have a look at the appendages. So the first appendage that you see here are the hands. And these hands are attached to this structure here which is known as pectoral girdle, something that we call our shoulder. You must have seen very, you know, people who do not have a lot of fat deposition in the uh, body, they do show these two. These are collarbones and these collarbones are a part of our pectoral girdle or the hand girdle or the joint to which or the girdle to which the hands are attached. If you look behind, you can see this triangular structure here. That's called the scapula. You must have noticed when you pull your hand back, you can see these two triangular structures projecting out a little bit. Now the hand consists of the first bone which is known as the humerus. These two which are known as the radius and ulna. Then there is the wrist called the carpal. Then there are these portions, these regions, bones of these regions called the metacarpal and then the phalanges. The legs however are attached to another girdle which are known as the pelvic girdle which forms the pelvic region of the body and it is made up of two halves. These two halves come together and they are attached to the sacrum here you can see they are attached to the sacrum and they come forward from two sides and get attached here at the middle and from the two sides the legs are attached. There are perfectly designed joints which are known as ball and socket joints which help to attach the hands to the pectoral girdle and the legs to the pelvic girdle. Now if you look at the legs, these are the legs and they are attached to the pelvic girdle by a ball and socket joint. This bone is the largest bone of our body and this is known as the femur. Then we have the knee joint. You can see the small bone here. This is a movable patella which makes or which protects your knees and it also makes your knees a movable joint but movable in a single plane, right? It's a hinge joint. Then we have these two bones, the tibia which is this thicker one and the fibula which is the uh, feeble one here that forms the shin or the calf region of the leg and finally we have the ankle which forms the heel and the ankle that's the tarsal we have these flat bones forming your foot which is the metatarsal and finally the fingers or the phalanges now these are the different parts of an entire human skeleton we will go into the details of each and every part in another video but today we learn about the different bones maybe not 206 of them and all of them but we have seen overall how many bones are there and what these bones are for so that was an overall idea about the skeletal system of human beings hope you enjoyed the video and learned from it do check out the courses on our website manochaacademy.com and our android app manocha academy links are given below we have courses on physics chemistry biology mathematics coding and artificial intelligence in these courses you will get concept videos live classes quizzes mock tests revision notes so they will be perfect for your exam preparations do hit the like button and share this video with your friends if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of our videos stay connected with manocha academy and let's keep learning different parts of the legs the <laughs> Then we have these two bones, these are known as the Kukara plugs to dekhte hai
ঘুরিয়ে দিচ্ছিলাম রেডি If you look at the legs, the legs are attached by a ball and socket joint to the pelvic girdle and this is the largest bone out of our body. I can't do this on your character. Reflection to see. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this.